So, yeah, I will be talking about uh, CK Editor 5 today and uh, just the WYSIWYG editors in general. So, to start, what is CK Editor? So, CK Editor is something that's word like, embedded into your web page, and uh, designed to edit the content or modify content in some shape or form. For example, here I have a standard classic CK Editor 4 in Drupal 9. So I have a piece of text, and if I want to, I can edit it. I can make some things bold, I want some things italic. Uh, maybe I want to do some bullet points, add a link. a numbered list to a quote which is not styled here at a table And see on the bottom, I also have uh, help, which shows me the actual path to particular element, depending where I am. And the another usual feature is actually looking at the HTML source and seeing what you can fix there. There are various flavors of uh, WYSIWYG editors, which stands for what you see is what you get. And as I said, it's more like word-like um, word processor editor where you have number of commands sitting on top. You might have an ability to embed images, some other media, uh, have different manipulation with text, maybe smaller fonts, uh, headings, and so on and so forth. So this is your standard functionality for CK, <clears throat> for WYSIWYG editor, including CK editor. CK editor is included in uh, Drupal uh, core and was included in Drupal Core 8 and Drupal Core 9. Uh, but <clears throat> like with any other things, the CK Editor 5 uh, was actually uh, designed and developed throughout the last five years. And obviously soon we're going to face a um, uh, similar situation like with Symfony and other things where some things are going to retire, get retired. And so the talk uh, is now to replace the CK editor before it will expire. So for that, the module was created called CK Editor 5, and it's one of the Drupal core initiatives. There's a link for Drupal um, 10 initiative on CK Editor 5. So you can actually go check it out, download the module using Composer, or download it straight from this page, and try it out. So what you need to do first, if you go to download the module, go to extend, type with CK editor, you can see our CK editor, which is CK editor 4, is part of the core. And CK editor 5 is a separate module. So nice and neatly, you can click install. This is a brand new demo for a uh, brand new version from yesterday. I haven't tested it. I tested it from version from a week ago. So hopefully nothing gonna get broken. So be, um, while it's still loading, um, with the CK editor four, uh, we have a concept of plugins. So plugins, you would need to download a separate library, and uh, then you actually need to download the Drupal connector, usually a module. So here you can see we have, on this particular website, I have a CK editor code mirror, which is responsible for code mirror, uh, actually um, for formatting your um, text as, uh, that takes a very long time. Uh, formatting your text as a specific code, and uh, 
spell check as you type actually integrates with spell checking libraries and dictionaries. So we would need, apart from CK Editor 4, we would need the CK Editor 4 compatible plugin, which is usually a bunch of JavaScript code, and uh, CK, and then the module itself. Um, there is a number of useful modules for CK Editor, like uh, div manipulation. Here we go. Module CK Editor 5 has been enabled. So that was a success. The next step is to actually go and uh, change our default editor. As you can see here, our CK editor for, for this particular text format, and we don't have a text format selection on the bottom, so it means we probably have a single text format we we'll have access to. So if I'll go to configuration, content, authoring, text formats, and editors, this is where I would be able to modify it. So you can see here I have a bootstrap HTML. I would click configure. And now with enabled bootstrap 5, I would be able to see the uh, ability to switch between the text editors. As, as I said before, um, uh, you can download more um, CK editors, including the code mirror, which is uh, not enabled. So you can't see it here. If the code mirror would be enabled, there would be a code mirror editor here as well. But I'll switch to CK Editor 5 and look at the bottom screen. Cool. Code Mirror, it's the um, it's an editor for code. So if you want to format uh, code examples, for example, you're doing the documentation for some library and API, and want a nice and neat uh, uh, code examples, you'd use Code Mirror as a uh, I guess a library to wrap up the text code. So a, a lot of websites are using Code Mirror as a code wrapping example, so it looks like a code on the website. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, and provides a lot of uh, language uh, support, different programming languages. So again, uh, as you can see, there is not many buttons because the module was recently created and the support is still required for a lot of them. So I'll go back to CK Editor just to show you the difference. This is with no plugins involved. You can see there is a formatting, uh, aligning, forward, backward. So uh, again, more formatting here, full screen. Whereas for CK Editor 5 at the moment, again, it's just the dev version. We have only, what is it, a good dozen buttons. Actually, uh, saying that there was no bulleted list uh, a week ago, so that's a new thing. Just create a bunch of stuff. You can see there is a already Drupal media integration and image upload integration. Not gonna go that far, maybe just drag. Here. I assume the code means HTML source. I assume, because last time I tried, it did nothing. And maybe do a quote. That's a good uh, toolbar. So as you can see, uh, there is a new section called CK Editor Five Plugins. So before we'd only have uh, we would have uh, plugins and filters. So but now plugins and this is for image upload. So if you're using the image upload button here, it would uh, actually uh, you can configure which directory to upload the images, the size the uh, different uh, dimensions. So when I'll try to save it, and this particular uh, format, text format, is actually set up to use a lot of bootstrap. So last time it gave me an error. And it would give an error as well. So at the moment, CK Editor 5 is only using specific so obviously there is not much support for example there is no support for class so with ck editor 5 at the moment in drupal you can you cannot use uh, the actual class so for example here here is the example of um, a tag i'm using at the moment with ck editor 4 at the moment for ck editor 5 the only supported um, parameter is ref which is um, a link 
where it goes. So as you can see, there is not even not even target. So again, very, very young module, but let's just copy what they uh, recommend to our list of allowed uh, tags. You can always go with a full HTML and remove this particular filter, but I just wanted to show you there are some limitations. And again, it's very, very young module, so obviously not very good to use in production. It's more if you really want to help bring in the integration of CK Editor 5 to Drupal 10 and possibly 9. OK, so we saved Bootstrap HTML. Let's refresh and see how different it is. All right, so back to our text. As you, as you can see, that that relates to I just want to see which button is the format button because at the moment I can't see. Heading two, we can make things bold. You can see it's nice, uh, much nicer user interface, or well, in my opinion at least. We'll do a couple of lists. Okay, so code button, I guess, inserts code tag. So if you put something like HTML, so like them with code, it turns it into code. All right. Okay, uh, so let's see how code works. There you go. You can see a quote. So again, not much difference, but obviously uh, we're going to go a bit deeper into what's different between CK Editor 4 and CK Editor 5 in a second. Oh, okay, so it is a heading button for some reason. I just didn't see it. We can also have a dividers here. I'm actually not sure what how it's a wrapping and a divider. So to separate the sections. Configuration. Well, it's still saving the configuration. Let's go to the actual CK Editor website. So this is a ckeditor.com slash ckeditor5. And look at what actually, what it is and what's the difference between CK Editor 5 and CK Editor 4. So the first thing they say, OK, it's actually now a framework for multiple purposes. So one of the actually usage they were aiming for, for is to create a collaboration similar to Google Docs, where multiple people can see uh, uh, where multiple people can see the editing process. And in fact, we're going to try one today and see if it works. Uh, there are different frameworks and different builds, and you can read more information on the CK Editor website about the actual framework. But again, now it's not just an editor, it's a framework. Uh, interesting development for, uh, for developers, they actually created it in ES6 and to be able to to, uh, you should be able to use it with a lot of modern JavaScript framework. Um, you can see a number of them here on the screen. Again, we're not going to go very deep into API today. But uh, yeah, uh, if you are into uh, developing JavaScript applications, uh, have a look. So obviously, the uh, the changes are different. I probably should have uh, showed the link before, how to insert the link. Uh, there is no link here. But the new, uh, the old way link versus new way link. So the new way link, you can see. Uh, 
right here on the example on the picture here so you, you can see the link is actually more like a pop-up thing uh, it's kind of raises the question how it is acts in terms of accessibility and all that uh, but it definitely look um, very appealing on the eye there's a link so let's insert link here save it and see the example of exerting the link. So, and it obviously says, okay, so you, you still use all your uh, you, you can use all your stuff with CKDD5, you use with CKDD4, including auto formatting, embedding media, uh, responsive images, uh, pasting from uh, word processors, and so on, of course. Again, collaboration, we're going to try that soon today. This is a, a big thing, I think that's why uh, it was developed as a framework. And now it's more of a modular system. So you can actually read. Uh, more information about the markdown editor, CK, um, theme customization, and you can use Bootstrap UI as well. Okay, that should be reloaded with a link here now. So if I select something, put here, you can see the link URL is now a nice pop up. And you can see now, rather than double click, it has the buttons here to control. So edit the link or remove the link. Mm. There you go. So it's obviously open source. You can see the repo on uh, GitLab. And uh, as you can see the... Current version is version 27. Or was released 20 days ago. Accessible material and design like input labels. So obviously there is some accessibility focus. Are the input labels accessible across the editor UI? Yep. So that's uh, in, that's in the last couple of releases. So there is some accessibility focus, which is interesting to see. So there is this. Um, uh, we got here a uh, quick export to PDF and Word. I'm wondering how they doing that. I actually haven't tried that. And uh, math equations also been added, and it's free for open source. So I'm not sure about the pricing model for the businesses as well, uh, but again, uh, I assume that only relates to some of the functionality now what actually changed and what's the difference between version 4 and 5 so there is this uh, blog post this blog post is actually quite old it's from 2017 but it gives you an idea why they decided to build it and they decided to build the ck 5 back in 2015 so the original data model uh, was the big issue Whoever tried to build or thought about building something like CKDDR or word processor, and I know a lot of developers did, you would know that you can create something like this, div content editable true or iframe content editable true, and bam, all of a sudden you have a iframe where you can type. And as they say in this article, uh, you have an editor 
yes, air quotes here. So because whoever try try to build it know that there is always issue with uh, uh, when you press enter, it might give you uh, unpredictable results. The carrot wasn't always followed, and it was very very hard if you try to create an application that would actually read the selection or try to create the selection of text and then copy it and actually create something word-like, you would know it's a, it, it was a world of pain. The reason for that was that this content editable uh, property was actually editing uh, browser DOM. And uh, you can read more about this in this article. I'll post the details here. But the idea is you wouldn't have any data model you would be actually editing the DOM directly in the browser. And that was the cause of a lot of issues. So for CK Editor 5, they said, OK, we need to bring new data model. And that's what actually drives. So it was written from scratch. There was no, I don't think there was much uh, code reuse. So they were actually using um, a data model. And now it, it more looks like, so high level API and operations look like that. So you actually say, OK, execute enter, block quote. Um, on the right hand side, you can see operation. So you can insert paragraph and you can insert quote and uh, use attribute bold. So it's more actually now interacting with data model rather than the HTML DOM directly. And that's the biggest shift from CK Editor 4 to CK Editor 5. Uh, for developers, MVC architecture, so uh, of the actual framework and uh, so model view control architecture for actual framework as well as the core. So here, just simple as example, how it translates the command into uh, some sort of a language. And then it reflects um, visually rather than, again, editing it directly uh, in a DOM. Uh, so the collaboration. I preloaded the collaboration page here. So if um, that's how CK editor looks uh, in the collaboration. Sorry, I just closed the share screen. Let me reload that. Hopefully it will appear. OK, so I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to paste it in the chat. And if few people start typing, let's see what it actually looks like. OK, so I'll copy the link. Please be discreet. <laughs> And you can see I'm using already the functionality of um, CK Editor. Anyone else? So that's a comment. Can anyone? Uh... Oh, it's still loading. Yeah, it does take a while. Though. Here we go. Sergio came. <laughs> Apparently, I'm, I'm Elizabeth. There you go. So you can actually see it's exact. It's exactly like uh, uh, Google Docs. So I think this collaboration was requested by a lot of businesses, and it's actually interesting to see it not as a part of the cloud solution, but the actual. I guess it would be a cloud solution, just wouldn't be Google. Hello, 
We have four people now. It is in south. So, so I think that lady's right on the phone. Mm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I just need some pictures of it, my friends. Hmm. So we talked before that uh, CK Editor 5 is the whole framework. Let me find the page. We prepared earlier. Actually, they closed it. So there are, there are builds and uh, and there are builds and there are frameworks. So this is documentation. Pretty sure I've opened. Not here. So in terms of uh, builds, there is a classic editor. There is inline editor, so classic. Again, something we, we, we saw here, uh, we saw today. Simple editing. Inline editor, something that you would actually edit right on the page. So something similar like a quick, um, quick edit. Balloon editor. I would assume that's what we saw with the link. So that's actually, I call it balloon editor. Balloon block editor. So you would have a paragraph on the right hand side and you can actually select a set of tools rather than having the ribbon on top. And document editor. So document editor, that's the mode we've been working with uh, in the collaboration mode. So you... Uh, I think so. Well, it's an individual thing. Why not? Uh, when the paragraph is selected, it's just a matter of uh, making sure. I think in uh, in Google Docs there is something like you can you have uh, like some tools on the right hand side, some tools on top. So yeah. probably uh, you can have a mix of editors or collaboration with different type of editors. So this is talking about the builds. Now uh, the framework. It actually yeah, basically uh, explains all about data model and everything we talked. So have a look at the uh, have a look through documentation, and you can actually for all these editors you can go and there is a demo on the website, so you can go and check it out and uh, edit stuff. I think we already uh, demoed enough for this particular thing. So, but this is yeah, this is CK Editor five. So the yeah the there are as I said it, it is an initiative to get it to Drupal ten but if we can develop uh, same functionality and match the functionality in Drupal nine it might be released earlier than that we have nine point two nine point three nine point four releases uh, coming um, the issue now roadmap to core they outline what's actually required to get to alpha. So first four steps are done. Create CK Editor 5 module, create PHP plugin for with AD CK Editor, create Drupal Editor JS plugin, and create uh, CK Editor 5 to load on a node form. Uh, at the moment, manual test the CK Editor 5 can be used in off canvas, and there are issues for the next steps as well. So if you can jump help out seems like the closed fix uh apart from evaluate ck editor for plugins and, and matched features image and caption and align so at the moment as as i said before there was no uh bulleted list that seems like to be added in the last week the release was yesterday and uh steps 10 and 11 add javascript test coverage for ck editor 5 and IE 11 warning for CK Editor 5 and Drupal 9. So it uh, looks like it might not be compatible with IE 11. 
And then there is roadmap to beta and roadmap to stable, what needs to be done. So again, if you're looking some initiative to join, I think uh, this is a uh, great mix of both worlds. It requires um, a lot of work in the back end for the plugins uh, in PHP. It requires probably a lot of work in the front end as well. And it also uh, would be beneficial to learn how a lot of parameters actually pass to CK editor and back. So this is uh, the issues called roadmap to core. Uh, explanation of uh, Drupal uh, initiatives. So the CK editor end of life, I think at the moment, if you can see this image clearly. So I think this was taken from Drew's presentation from last DrupalCon. Uh, uh, you can see that CK Editor will die sometime in CK in 2023, CK Editor 4. I don't think there is an exact date, but it looks like it's a very similar to CK uh, Symphony 4 date, which is end of life for Drupal 9. Uh, again, we're planning to have a release uh, of Drupal 10 sometime mid-2022. So just right here. So again, if you're interested in uh, initiatives and why they're there, there is a page in Drupal Help about strategic initiatives and community initiatives. And uh, CK Editor is actually one of the strategic initiatives, including automatic updates, decouple menu, and uh, CK Editor 5 is uh, under Drupal 10 readiness initiative here. So, yep, if you came to help, I would recommend you to install the module and start there and then see what sort of um, issues are there. Uh, I will be running training. Uh, next week, I think. Which is uh, CI uh, CI based training, but I thought it would be a good idea. We we're gonna write a unit test for Drupal, and I thought this uh, module actually a great example how to write a couple of unit tests and then run them in CI. Again, so it's on Thursday, twenty second of April. You can still register. Uh, we're gonna be primarily using GitLab for that, <clears throat> but I thought this module is actually quite a good example to write some or at least run some unit test, the date on the picture is different. That was shifted from the 1st of April, but the date on the Meetup website is correct. So Drupal module unit testing. And I think that's a perfect candidate to pick up for to run unit tests. 